go with the ocean of your soul. So today this is well. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Because stillness is important, but being in flow is equally as a balance and seeing that the waves of the ocean flow is something that you gotta do, you gotta let it know, no. Let it all flow down, let it all come in, let it all go out, because that's the balance of everything you're in the game. I see it, I see it, I be plucking all of the strings and now strumming in my heart and I'm feeling like I'm never gonna be apart from myself ever, ever again. Way it's been shown, and now the clouds are parting. Yeah. The sun always behind your head. I see it, baby. Yeah. See the Christ consciousness of this time and place. Uh. Yeah, I be seeing all the truth. I be seeing you, lady. You've been doing all these things. I've been knowing that you got it. I thank you. Yeah, I thank you. I'm so grateful. Cause you see me and you, that's unity, like the queen say, queen bee. My oh man, ah, we're both queening, but military dreaming. I'm being all I can be, a building out the teaming. Together, everyone achieves so much more. We do the give and go, what the lion in store. I said, going down the yellow brick road, like MJ and Diana, dying. And uh, Ross, I'm telling you, got the cowardly lion. You giving me courage, like the motherfucking courage, the cowardly dog. I'm telling you, you giving work, just you being, you be me being with your art and your different hue. I see it, huh? No more lustful. Understand the trustful. I mix the lust with the love, then I got a new potion. See, I'm in motion. You call me an ocean. I know I'm the drop in the sea. I'm the whole sea in the drop. I'm just being singular to me. I am cell. I love myself. My C E L L. I love my health. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you. That's what happens when you, when you walk it out, right? And you complete a task. You move the energy. We prepare for a baby. A whole ass baby. A whole ass baby. So we prepare for a baby. A whole ass baby. A whole ass baby. <laughs> <laughs> a whole ass baby. And I know that you said you didn't want to be in it to do the, the, the other talk, but like, I thank you for jumping in the free flow. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's the MC, A to the X over there. Hey, we here now. If you want to do the video, you can knock out the trash. I'm down. All right, I'm, I mean, we could. That was, a, that was a beautiful way to start it off. And we, we're sitting and looking at the castle. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'm down. I got the film in my face. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm going to do another. I'm going to read this. And then we're going to talk about our free birth that we're going to have with our child. Hey, hey. Said our word is our bond, yeah, in the source code, it matters, see what code you follow in G, I'm a OG, original God, original Ja, original gangster, I'm Elijah, not Muhammad, see, Elijah, Morgano, see, I understand my legacy when I'm giving you me, I know, right? <laughs> you see the shot, the double entendre, but like, oh. I listen also to the ways that the sounds like bounce off of each other with the timing. Uh -huh. Hey, I, I'm, I appreciate it. Like, that's what I got from Scuddy last night, bro. He's just himself. Like, yeah. he's elevated. Super elevated. The guy that I told you that, yo, just do you. You a rock star, my nigga. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, do you, man. So you a rock star, too. <laughs> All right. All right. So, squad of protection, truth, vibration, master of manipulation. No more taking. Time for the trust. No more lust. Time for the love. L-U-V, so I will follow all of the white colonizers trail. I will take them as my friend, but I will not bend our back to their burdens. I will be so cunning as a coyote. See, I will be, and I'll ask them to understand their ways, understand their days. Then I will prepare the digital underground for my children and their children, aloof, do ma, they great spirit. Our ancestors show us the way and we never fear it. Have us outrun the colonizer in they own fucking shoes. Nina, Simone, and the Tony, the Lawrence, the piano, what up, Morgano? I understand, no more time for the drama, so we pray every day, then we meditate, we get silence, and then we wait. 
Hmm, what do they say and they speak in the in between places of our thoughts? Thoughts of things traveling so fast, so we bring in our blast from the past. Free birth. Yeah. <laughs> free birth. Manifesting our free birth. Manifest, that's what this is. We manifest in our free birth. We had to clear the way so that our free birth can come. Mm-hmm. We're going we to put this PHI, PhD sticker right here. Somebody, they're going to see PhD, bro. PhD for the win, bro. Manifesting our free birth. Yeah. Just got a message from the doula today. Looking into Medicaid. I also found a list of doulas that's in the Richmond area. There's five. Uh, doulas and mid- or midwives? Doulas. All right, we got to look for midwives as well. That's going to be a part of the team. All right, so this message is... Uh, oh, there might, be, there might be a mix of both, actually. Right. I'll, I'll double check. The goal is to have a squad around us. We're in the final countdowns for the baby. Uh, baby uh, Imani. She love mindset, super lit, um, and we have decided. Free he, birth. He is following her body. Mm-hmm. I support the decision of the following of the body. That's true. Yeah, and we're doing a free birth. And can you tell them what a free birth is? So free birthing is the radical notion of allowing your body to just do what it needs to do in order to birth. Um, it's full liberation of movement, full liberation and control of how it is that you desire to. Um, have a relationship with your baby because a lot of the indoctrination process a lot of the trauma that we get comes from our within the womb and you're going to the doctor's office you're getting these ultrasounds you're getting poked and you're getting prodded your 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 guardian and this is as a as a child within speaking as a child within a womb your guardian is getting bombarded with all of these potentials and all of these risks that you might have to think about your blood's getting drawn it's it's a very the level of involve the level of exterior involvement is um, it to a certain degree it hits at that instinct of like oh I'm receiving support and assistance but because it's coming from kind of an extractive place mm-hmm. it's not true assistance or support it's how can we control the situation and mm-hmm. um, make you make your body dependent on us to feel what feels right, which is the healthcare system, Mm -hmm. um, versus here are ways to empower you to listen to your body better. Free birth is where you listen to your body and you take full responsibility for um, the ways that your body is telling you to move and to execute what it needs to execute in order to, in terms of actions, in terms to create the most effective way for your baby to come out. The body knows what it's doing, essentially. Yep. And our goal is uh, to do this within the confines of our com- our community. Like we have our tent, we're gonna have a little pool. We're gonna find something to, to heat the water. We got the we got the um, mini stove that we can heat the water. Up. And we can build a towers. we can build a bonfire. It would be as simple as um, purchasing like a large pot from like Salvation Army or something. Oh yeah, like and keeping that keeping that full. So it's just being able to to focus our attention on the things that we desire to manifest uh having a team around us of people that have faith and belief Mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing having a high level of faith you may not have the experience to do this but having a high level of faith prayers really matter for us this time Mm -hmm. in this go around um so right now we're looking for uh, volunteer uh doulas assistants prayer warriors that we can allow e and the baby's body and frequency to do this free birth as naturally as calmly as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I have eight other children. I've been around four of the births, um, and this is the first time I've done a free birth. And it'll be one thousand. I'm I was nervous. Like I had my nerves uh, once the decision was made. And and I remember I said we're gonna do God's bath. <laughs> like and I'm yeah. like. God's bath is way more than what we're doing right now. And I didn't even know the term at free birth at the time. Mm -hmm. So us to uh, be able to talk about it more um, and communicate with it and us coming up here to do this live is sharing with our community and that we can let them know. Like people have been paying attention to us. We've been on tour. Baby is is, is alive and kicking. We just had the blessing way Mm -hmm. 20 days ago on the first of the year. So it's just like... 
yeah. <laughs> I, I even hear my sounds when I talk about the nerves. So it's just, uh, we've really been focusing on what we desire to happen and the desiring to happen. Every time I hear you explain the free birth, we're going to watch some more videos. Uh, <laughs> I have, I, I got the space now to watch the videos. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, watching the videos of the people going through free birth, it's like, it only really makes sense. Like the experience of Right now, what I'm experiencing in my body is these Braxton Higgs, whatever, whoever Braxton Higgs was, these pre, <laughs> these pre labor crampings that are preparing the body. The body is preparing me for labor. I can feel my body making these contractions. Mm -hmm. They're not, they're sporadic. They're, they're just preparing, they're strengthening the muscles in order to be able to do it. And me being able to know that and feel that, why on earth would we be able to make babies if we also couldn't birth them on our own? Yeah, that make no sense, guy. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> like, I mean, it goes in. It goes into the the level of uh, you was talking about the control. It's a mm -hmm. that's a birthing control system that, um, even though like we've birthed successful births, we've had there's all types of complications that can go to through what what you were just saying. How all of the stress that's being put on, the, the trauma that's going through, it's all the poking, the medicine, the positioning of the body. It's a whole traumatic experience just to come into this realm. Mm -hmm. And especially. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. It's supposed to be. It's a sacred, it's a sacred moment. Absolutely. That they've learned to capture. Mm -hmm. They've learned to capture. 97% of. I think I think it's something like 97% of the people who give birth in the, in the United States do it through the hospital. Damn, they got that's a that's a monopoly. Mm -hmm. That's a monopoly. Mm -hmm. If I do say so myself, and where we're going, where and we're indigenous, we have our own nations. We has a nation. I have a nation, and we're combining our, our nations. Our nations are being joined in union through the birth contracts and agreements that we're doing. Um, so having this free birth is the first for both of us, and it establish a a wave of free birthers for for them to be able to to bring their child in in a peaceful way. The people that are doing home births and water births, um, every sign points towards doing a a free birth after we've uh, looked into these other ways and even looking into those other waves they're like no don't do this hospital don't do this and it's right. like yo like uh, everything is just like do what you've been because we've really only been to two doctor's appointments and i can feel that the baby is kicking um that the baby's moving around and there is a everything uh, everything always comes back to self, right? Like what we're on is we're on mission. And the baby is a manifestation of the mission. And the root of everything that we're doing is self love, self trust, and being able to have a free birth and trust the fact that we trust ourselves enough as carriers of the baby. And we also trust ourselves as parents of the baby to be able to go through this process. Mm -hmm. It's not meant to be, a, you know, when we were just talking about how um, being able to anticipate a certain level of fear when you get to the next level um, is mandatory because it shows the chaos that's around. Mm -hmm. It shows the potentials and the strength comes from being able to push through the potentials and know what your intention is. I know, I like I can see it, like Clancy's going to be all decked out, like... Got the cushions in the back. Got the bonfire all set up. Um, Nam yo. Kitty pool. And just being able to chill. Like, I feel the, I can feel the uh, contract contractions in my body, and I can feel generally what it feels like to like push. So I've always had a pain tolerance anyway. I got this tattoo on my shoulder done well, for 12 hours straight. Yeah, you on your G shit. Yeah. <laughs> so.
and and like I, I'm hearing more of the sounds, the confidence in your sounds uh, as you talk more. Uh, like that's why doing these videos to manifest, especially after we just did two free flows, mm -hmm. we did one of the dopest collaborations I think we've done in a, in a while. Yeah, hell uh, yeah. Um, and we we do it in a place where this is historic. Historic. This is a historic the Black area. Black History Museum over there. Yep. Engaged with so melodic Mondays. Right here. Uh, that, that That's where I went to high school uh, when I got kicked out of school down here. So, uh, the stuff behind us is called Jackson Ward, and it's a historic, um, successful, like a Harlem area enrichment for melanated people. So being able to be in there and speak ancestral shit, they're happy. Because our ancestors didn't have hospitals. Like, like, no, bro. what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Our ancestors, like, I got village roots, bro. Village shit. You don't, you don't have access to a hospital in a fucking village. Nah. Where did Jesus get birth into in a, a fucking barn? A fucking manger, my nigga. So, like, I <laughs> like the straw and shit. <laughs> and us doing this, it breaks the, it breaks the uh, socially accepted uh, vibration. Um, this is how you supposed to do this. Right. And so like, this is a high level. You said 97 97% of the people in America go through the hospital process. Yeah. Like, so us being a part of the 3%, we immediately separate ourselves and we'll always have that story. Mm -hmm. And that story is what's going to, it's going to build a lot of buzz. People are going to want to know why. I want to know how. And then when they ask why, they're like, I'm glad you asked. Here's the footage. <laughs> Here's the footage. This is why we did it, and this is why we'll continue to do it. Uh -huh. And we did it with the bare minimums. So if we can do it with the bare minimums, and we now have been successfully doing it for a while now, we can, like, it's, it's, it becomes easier, an easier task as you do it. I feel like the question that comes up a lot in these conversations that we have is the quintessential, like, what is it that we really need? Really? What do we really need in this society in our for ourselves? Like, what thinking about like and when we think about it from an abundance place right we know that we are abundant spiritual abundance is a different vibration than materialistic abundance and when it comes to the basics of what we need in order to be in relationship with our highest vibrating self nice <laughs> 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 what is that thought? You can hear it. <laughs> that was a great expression. <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm gonna give him some moments of reverence to the weed. I say, what's up, medicine? What up, man? Why does it smell like top ramen, yo? You've been fucking some ramen up. <laughs> <laughs> Sustenance. Hell yeah. Shout out to Juno for buying tacos this rising. Yeah, that man. was lit. That was good. I'm grateful for him, and this is why we. Uh, us being able to pour back into our community yeah. with our spiritual you were talking about spiritual abundance yeah, man. Uh, versus uh, material abundance right and it's not like you know it's like being open to material abundance is an option it's lit it's something that is a part of the process right being able to be open to it and not attached to it um, makes it flow because currency money is a currency it is it's a current See? It's a current, but money flows, money flows. Just and like currently, we're manifesting an abundance mindset. We are. Ah, thank you. This is, and this is part of the ceremony. A ceremony consists. Ah, good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ceremony. Um, talking, talking about what you desire, solution for it, um, uh, creating some form of alchemy. You know what our ancestors had to do? They had to rub sticks together to make fire. <laughs> you get a, 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 a shungite uh -huh. to spark to it. And the dope thing is too, right? It's like the dope Think about divine timing, divine... Is that so many things been... Like, the... He is received. Like, a lot of the inventions made, like, they probably created a spark by accident.
being in receivership, I, I, I'm in houseless and on this journey for the past few years. Really taught me just learn how to receive. I, I would be sleeping on benches sometimes, and like, and sleeping on the bench on, on the uh, by the the James River, Pie River, and that bridge that we had getting on. Um, and I wake up and there'd be a bag with some socks and some some fucking vanilla <laughs> uh, 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 and some some water and bananas. Like hell yeah! Like I'm like thank you universe. How'd you know? Because you're all knowing. <laughs> on mission, yo. On mission, so uh, that's that's where your spiritual comes to a play. You brought it back to what, what do we need or what are our desires, and those things that we need are, like I said, a lot of faith. Those that from those that do want to support our mission and they can't do it financially or just faith have some prayers and some prayers our way um we desire a, a doula midwife and a team to be around this this beautiful journey we have a documentary team um because this is being documented and and that documentary team this is a, a spiritual ceremony if you've been on tour with us at all any of this year or last year you know that we big on ceremonies and this ceremony is the most sacred Yes, it's a rites of passage for me. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah, I uh, mean, having your first child, like, that's a huge rites of passage. Is. All of this before the full moon, too. Yes, bro. Excuse me. Yeah, before the new moon in Aquarius, there are a lot of we write in our chapters everything that we do leading up to these moments, mm -hmm. and then everything we do leaning up to you having that rites of passage. Man, shout out the Midnight Gospel. Shout out the Midnight Gospel and Midnight Gospel being able to talk about the show the birth and meditation is just becoming familiar with your body. What you're doing right now is becoming familiar with your body. This message was talking about us becoming familiar with our bodies based off of um, free birthing and listening to our bodies. I, I just listen to my body, it's called intuition. Like those that are empaths or have a great deal of uh, empathy, like you can listen to yourself. And like you can listen to the voice in your, you can even talk to yourself if you don't care about being like like people be like i wasn't talking to you i was just talking to myself out loud but i was like i heard you so i can talk to that like and then when you get to a place where you okay with really no matter how unorthodox it seems really just dive in with yourself um you're you're taking and no matter what life or mayhem throws your way, mm. you're taken care of. So just know that we're taken care of. Right. Worry yes. never got anybody to success. No, and because the thing is, is that the chaos, like being able to focus on the chaos, Observe the fact that we need as well. Contrast is a lesson, and a lesson is a blessing. So if we look at that which we receive, all is still in a space of gratitude. As long as you move in a place of gratitude for everything that you've existed up until this point to be in this now moment you will continue to manifest an abundant life because you know that you're grateful to be exactly where you're at. Exactly. Life is a blessing. Fuck. Life we is a blessing. Came here. We came here to experience and live. Like, lived is devil spelled backwards. So you come here to run into the opposition or a devilish moment, and you have to use what you learn in life to get through that. Mm. And you can call on party members of the first trend. Like, like I love my mom and my dad, but like, I, t I just posted a picture with my mom. Because you were part of this baby's life. 
If you want to be a part of this, babies, play our game of creating this. Because, Mom, you're the devil. You lived the perfect life that you've ever lived, and I watched you, Fat Annie. So, as we cut off. She had her right to She had the entire and she had a situation that likes to People see all oh, teary eyes are all of my soul and da, da. They, they eat that shit up. Mm-hmm. Suffering is a they like the like three loves. space the it, it, solution is is relative to what this what the space requires but um we have that formula ultimately what we're looking for is solutions that's it mm-hmm.